the boy and his dad got him a, got a loot crate, slam crate. And uh, this is really what I wanted to kind of fuss about. And somebody, if, if any intern just happens upon this, somehow, I don't know how you would, uh, maybe it's going to be at a tr one of my trials. You might be in the jury and you see this video proving that I'm, I'm a terrible person. But I was reading the Stables book. I like Stables, factions. I, I, I like teams. I mean, I'm not going with the NWO 30-man team. I, I like small little groups that, that work with each other, you know? And uh, so we got, you know, we started off with the White family. Good faction. I enjoyed that. It was a good storyline. Th that burnout way too quick. Uh, they started treating them, started treating them basically like a like a bunch of jobbers until they split them up. And I, I think the only guy that came out of it was Braun Strowman. That looks good because I mean I can't stand the Bludgeon Brothers. I'm not down with and Bray loses to anybody nowadays. It's a shame. Uh, I hope they re reunify them as they did the Shield, which is the next one is the Shield. The Shield is a great faction. Uh, I can't stand. You know, I don't like Roman Reigns, although once they're in this group together, it's a, it's a great group. And my boy loves to do the uh, Dean Ambrose eyes. He can do the De De Ambrose eyes, huh? Did I say my boy? I meant the other boy. See there, I get confused now. All right, so. Next faction we had here, I think I don't skip one of these, was the Four Horsemen. Of course, the Four Horsemen. I mean, my goodness. One of the greatest factions ever. Um, there is no, they, they, of course they should be in this book. The New Day, sure. I mean, it's a great little three-man tag team. Um, why not? They're hot now. They're entertaining. Should be right here in this. DIY. Um, DIY. Now, they're a tag team. I don't call that, I, I don't know, I wouldn't call a stable or, or a faction anything less than three people. Three people or less, sure. But two people, a tag team? No, I mean, you wouldn't call, I'm trying to think of somebody, the Rockers? No, that was a bad example. I wouldn't call two people in a tag team a faction. Or stable. I don't know why they're in here. I guess they needed somebody to be as the NXT group. You know, forget sanity, but we're going to put DIY in here. All right. The four horsewomen. Sure. Um, we got four individuals in it. Charlotte being the leader of the group, just like Rick was the leader of the four horsemen. This is solid. You know what? It's a shame that they don't use them as much as they should, this team should be dominating the women's division. Should be. They should have a tag team women's division. Oh boy, they should have a tag team. That, mm, that makes me mad they don't have a women's tag team division. I, gonna get me angry on this little. NWO, you got that right. 48 men, 50, 60, I don't know how many they had in NWO. So many they had to split them up into two factions. Yes, yes. Uh, the click. Uh, I guess so. The most real faction probably ever developed. Um, the the click would downright a faction to be beheld behind the scenes, not in front of the camera, but behind the scenes they ran the show. So, sure. Now the rant. The part nobody's waited for, but the part that I want to fuss about the most. Degeneration X. It starts off with a, with a two-man, it started off with a three-man team. But history is, is WWE is rewriting history and removing a member of DX, which irritates me beyond belief. I know she might have done some things after she left WWE. That may be, but she's not the only one. There is a lot of WWE talent that has done things similar. Maybe not embraced it the way she did, but they've done stuff just as bad. 
But right here, in I think the third paragraph, yes, the third paragraph, it says the lawlessness of Degeneration X continued following HBK's temporary retirement because he lost his smile. Triple H saw an opportunity to pick up the ball and run with it. He replaced Michaels and DX with the three equally immature superstars, Road Dog, Billy Gunn, longtime friend X Pog. They are neglecting China. The first female intercontinental champion, the first female to be in the Royal Rumble. Yes, she was in some adult films when she left the WWE, but the way she left, it probably would have messed up a lot of people's heads. But what she did in the company while she was there should not be destroyed. Just because, and I hate to say it, I hate, I mean, I, just because of the relationship between people. Now, of course, I'm not an inside man. I don't know what all really did happen. But from a man on the outside looking in, it bothers me that you take away this woman's accolades just because she did something that you didn't like. I'm probably one of the guys up here that believes what maybe Chris Benoit did, if he did do it, if in fact he did do it, was horrible. But does it take away from what he did for the industry? It probably hurt the industry to a point to where it shined a spotlight on problems that was going on in the company itself. It showed rampant steroid use at the time. That now they have a, from what outside looking in, what seems to be a strong policy on drug use, which is good for everybody in that company. So even though he may have done a bad thing, I don't know. I'm not a cop. I didn't. I don't know any of the actual facts that they investigated. But if he did do it, he did bad. But what he did when he was there was good. What he caused from his bad actions was good. I'm not defending that man if he did hurt his family. Please understand that point. But the point I'm making is, if the, if the drugs and steroids messed his mind up to the point where he did that, he's punished. He's dead. His family is deceased. But he had some incredible moments that we shouldn't wash over. Uh, China had incredible moments we should not erase from history. Just because... You didn't like some of the things it did. There's a lot of WWE folks that's got away with things. Not as bad as Benoit. Not as bad as China in some eyes. Both are dead. Both have paid their debt to the universe, as one would say. It just irritated me that they left out China. I liked her when I was young. Uh... She was probably the first, one of the first women that made me notice uh, females in wrestling. Uh, her and, uh, and Lita. So it, 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 I don't, I don't believe we should erase her from history. All right. That's it. That's it. You can downvote that forever. I deserve it. But thank you. I'm Will. Thank you for helping me wrestle with cancer.